not sure if the um the molt over his eyes is the old molt and I should try to pick it off, but I'm afraid I'll hurt him. He seems to see pretty well, surprisingly. Like when I go by he turns his head. When I bring a bug, he quickly I think the bug is mostly he senses it. His feelers are much smaller than they're supposed to be, by the way. His feelers used to be very long, I think, in the molt they broke off. Or didn't molt right. Something bad happened with this molt. I'm not sure quite what happened, but I think maybe it was it's very dry in this room compared to the humidity that they're used to. I think perhaps what happened was it started drying as he was trying to peel it off. And he took too long and it just dried and it got stuck on the side. All tangled up for like a few hours. Just a few hours. But that's, that's something you have to realize if you're going to try to have a praying mantis. They have to have humidity. That's why he's always on that wet napkin paper towel he's on there and they have to um they have to have a place to hang in order to molt so they can pull themselves out of their molt they make the molt stick to where they're hanging they pull themselves out of it i didn't realize that i hadn't researched that enough figured him leaving my room was fine he was up on my top shelf and on my top shelf was nothing for him to hang on He's pretty good at manipulating it, though, with just his mouth. As long as it's, I get him in a position where he can hold himself up, like that, I use the paper towel because he can, I can, you know, you can have different levels for his feet and stuff like that. And then use the tweezers with the tape around it because it's heavy and doesn't move. And he can, um, pipe hush, just a minute, I'm talking. And he can, then way he can manipulate it and um, move around it and it doesn't and stuff like that. He's gotten much better at that. I think it took him a while to um, learn for his brain to realize this is just how it's going to be. And Pipe, stop. I'm talking. And realize this is just how it's going to be. And he's got to um, work around it. This, this is life. And I think he's just accepted. When he sees me coming, he gets excited. I just worry about his head. I really wish I could peel those eye bubbles off. But I'm afraid to. And then the worst thing is I don't think he, once they have a pipe, I'm talking, calm down. Once they molt their last time and they get their wings, they don't molt anymore once he has wings. So he's done molting. This is how he'll be for life. If he, if he was young and this had happened, I could have, that's what I was planning on doing. I watched another video where someone had one that didn't molt proper, properly and he kept feeding it until it did molt again. When it molted, it was fine. But he doesn't have any more molds in him because his wings are here. It's a shame. I would have liked to, I really wanted to see him fly. You know, they, they um, have ultrasonic hearing. They hear ultrasonic sounds, like bats. They can literally hear bats. So if they're flying and they hear that a bat is locked onto them, they do this evasive maneuver where they um, fly straight to the ground, straight into the ground, and then very last minute pull out, or maybe they don't even pull out, and it makes the bat slam into the ground, or not be able to get them. It's something I suppose they've evolved, but they have really, really good hearing. So I wanted to see him fly. I mean, they fly almost, they fly as well as dragonflies. Just about. They're like a dragonfly. You know, you don't think about that, the way that they sit around and snatch their prey from branches and stuff. You don't think about them flying. But they can fly. They can fly and they can catch bugs in the air. It's amazing. Okay, bye.
Okay, is that it? Yeah. yeah. Is that it? Play, Let's see how our boys doing over here. How are we doing here, Flaxen? Uh-oh. Sometimes what happens. Oh, he got the bug out. He has a hard time dealing with it once he gets it out. Okay, he's still going. He's got it working out. also reduce trips to the bathroom, which is a known cause of nighttime falls. Now, nighttime falls can be one month thing to lose sleepover. To order now or request a free Intel pass and find out why nine out of ten caregivers and users would recommend the service system. Call 800-705-5142 now. Jim and Joanne have the same prescription. They both know the system is not on their side. They both know the problems are out of control. But one of them is taking back control. Good all right. So I don't spend that much, even with this insurance. She can spend this much just by using good all right. Use good all right to compare prices and one season in your area. Let's not pay too much for your reservations. Download the free app today. Take back control. Career in one of today's hottest sales with an online 
He's doing great, actually. Look at him. He's learned so much in the past couple of weeks. So it looks like he's eating now, and I'm just going to see how long I can keep him alive. See if I can finally teach him to catch a bug by himself, or walk over and get it by himself. I don't know if it will happen, but I'm going to try. Put it over to his butt now. He'd be really chew on a butt. Poor little man. I feel so bad for him. Must suck, because he was so good at catching bugs.
Maybe I didn't do that too good. Let me try this mop again. Come on, dude, figure it out. All right, that's a moth from last night. Sometimes they get too dried out and you have to wet them down again. It looks like it's working. Bye. Oh yeah, there's a good meal for him. Look how full his abdomen's getting. You can still see it's low. I like it better when it's all distended. Right now it's all flaccid. He's eating. 